Can you describe the Hall of Fame and what it was like being there? It was very inspirational uh, to be at the Hall of Fame with, uh, with Michael and all the other honorees, uh, you know, the greatest athletes of our time. But I don't believe that athletes are the ones we should idolize. I think we should idolize teachers and scientists and physicians. I'd rather idolize Jonas Salk, who invented the polio vaccine, than whoever the greatest athlete in the world was. What kind of memories were you brought back to when Michael mentioned the headache story? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine that that story uh, took place about uh, 23 years ago. His memory of, uh, of it wasn't exactly perfect, but uh, it, 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 it did you know, explain what a competitor he was, that he was willing to rich, risk his entire career just to get back and play ba basketball. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player who ever played. He said what he wanted to say that night, and it's not up to me to, you know, to grade it or interpret it. I want to ask you, with all the Bulls public figures, did you watch Michael Jordan's Hall of Fame speech? Uh, yeah, I did. I did, actually. Um, I usually don't watch that kind of stuff, but, you know, of course it's Michael, so I had to watch. How inspiring was it? Uh, it was good. You know, um, you got to see um, the humorous side, the emotional side, and um, just um, not him, but David Robinson, John Stockton, Sloan, Vivian Stringer as well. Um, their careers were, I think, um, noticed by the highest rank so you know to have their lifetime dream and careers to be noticed by the highest you know that's that's the highest place you can be at the hall of fame so to for them to be put into that class i mean it was just showing you that you know your career work and everything can be acknowledged like that